why don't you use super bass this is by far Far the most common question I get whenever I post a video related to the stack that I use to build mobile apps or web apps. And to tell you the truth, I have used Superbase and I don't have a problem with Superbase and I have clients that use Superbase. Out of all of the managed services, I do think it is probably my favorite, but we prefer to host our infrastructure inside of Railway. I have a few frustrations with Superbase. First one being when you're building a new project and there's not a lot of activity, after a certain period, you'll start getting emails to say that we're gonna deactivate your database. Then you have to log in, restore your database to get it up again. I find this super annoying. The second thing is a lot of people say, but it has Superbase auth. I don't use Superbase auth. I use better auth. It's open source and you're not locked into a DB when you use it. The third thing is I've tried to dump my data from my Superbase database before and it comes with all of this Superbase specific code all throughout of it. You've got to go through and clean it all just so you can restore it to a different provider or to a self-hosted database. And the fourth thing is we use Railway for way more than just databases. We host our APIs there. We host indexes, queues, observability, you name it. It's all in Railway and it's all within the one UI. And if you want to dump your data from Railway, from your Postgres database, it's clean and it's not riddled with all of these super base nonsense. So those are four reasons why I don't use Superbase. I'm posting every single day. I'll see you tomorrow.